Okay, so I am a student again, and I'm going to sign in. This, I'm a student. I'm going in to see what has Mrs. ABCD 1978 sent to me. And now this is, um, this is what the student sees. It looks very similar to the teacher page, but it is not the teacher's page. So this is, as a student, I see, oh, I've got to take this quiz, and it's due July 21st. So the first thing I want to do is take the quiz. All right, so I'm going to start the quiz, and it's only one question. How much do you know about Edmodo? Let's say um, I don't know much at all. And I don't remember if I set that at the, uh, as the correct answer or not, but I'm going to go with that as my answer, and then I'm going to hit next. And there's not another question, so I can't go next. <laughs> but I will submit the quiz, and, and it's taking me a very short time to do that. Are you sure you want to end this quiz? Because if I do end it now, I can't go back again unless the teacher resends the quiz to me. So I'm going to say, yes, I'm ending the quiz, and I can view my results right away. I don't have to wait for the teacher to grade it. Okay, and it says that I got the correct answer. Obviously, I set that answer as the correct answer. So one out of one means I've got a 100. And depending on how your teacher or how you uh, total your grades, whether you do percentages or points, it's up to you. Um, I failed to mention um, when you create a quiz, and I'll go back to that on the teacher's page. A teacher can create the quiz and assign that quiz to be placed into their grade book. So when we go back to the grade book, I'll tell you more about that. But as the student, this is all I'll see. Then I'll go back here to my Moto main page as a student. So I've taken the quiz. I've, I can see my quiz results there are 1-1. One, one, and I can even see it on the main page. It shows me I got one out of one. Correct, so I made a 100. All right, now it tells me to watch this video. I could easily click on, that's not really a video. I couldn't, uh, I, didn't, I don't know a URL for a video. I just said watch this video, but this takes me directly to whatever uh, the name of whatever link that was that I posted so the instruction said watch the video that wasn't a video that was my website but nevertheless you notice it takes you straight to that link and what I can do is go up here as my as a student and I can add this post to my personal library and that way I can always come back to this even if Mrs. Dale decides or excuse me Mrs. ABCD uh, 1978 decides to delete this post so that's, uh, that's one thing you need to know about the library. And see, if I click up here on my library, and I can see that post right there in my library. Um, so there we go. And we can add to Backpack also. Um, you can upload files from your own computer to add to your backpack. I'm not going to do that again. I might want to add this digital citizenship picture because... It's a really good, um, uh, it sets a lot of rules for what we should and should not do in order to, uh, to have safe internet and access. I think I did it. There we are. And so that's there. It came straight off my computer and students can add stuff to their backpack if they chose to. All right, but I'm going back to my homepage. Every time I go back to my homepage, I click on the little Edmodo icon that's pointing back as in going back to where you started. Are there any more assignments? Okay, she's reminding me that we have a test on Friday, so I see that. I don't have to do anything but look at that. And that's my post, and that's it.